Okay, good evening everyone. Welcome. As we welcome in, uh, I think that's Nachman Chapler and Shimon Klein and Baruch Ian and uh, A.B. A. Spry and company. Uh, Eddie Chazan, Mel Zachter, Irving Fishbaum, uh, a, uh, Aaron Swade, uh, Shalom Fogel, uh, Dr. Block, Avi Ament, Mo Kushner, Rabbi Kranz, A. Barbach, Yitzi Muller, uh, here in the shul, David Health got on Kalashin. Here in the shul, we have Saba and uh, Rich Lenner, Rib Kramer. Uh, we have Gedalia Engel, uh, Rib Schleimer, Rib Shankman. Uh, we, uh, we, we're we going to have to just back up a drop. There was some problem on the camera last night, uh, on the setting of the camera. So, uh, we have to back up to um, Omar Mar, which is uh, seven lines from the bottom, seven lines from the bottom of Daf Yud Gimel Amid Beis, uh, as we are dedicated by A.B. Spry and family for the protection of our soldiers, and we are losing them. I just heard that Rabbi Leiter's nephew uh, passed away in active battle in the Gaza. And these are our Yiddish kinderlich. I mean, it's Hashem should give them safety and itzachin. Uh, also for Issezev ben Yuta, Shimon Klein, Lila Nishmas Asher Anshel ben Yehuda, Gittel ba Shimon Pinchas by uh, for, by Irving Fish Fishbaum for his gesund, Isser ben Rezel. Uh, for Avigdraya ben Rivka, Yella ben Chava, Meir ben Chaya Sara. Uh, we uh, welcome in uh, Jay Siegel, Harrison Kletzel, uh, and uh, Rib Schleimer in the back. Uh, we, uh, so, Amar Mar, again, we're backing up to seven lines from the bottom of Daf Yud Gimel Amid Beis. Amar Mar, Kishihizik, Chav Hamazik. So when damage is done, it's the responsibility of the mazik to pay. So what is that coming to include? So we said that according to Shmuel, it's coming to include Niske Karen. But according to Ravo, who says Shar includes all three damages, Shane, Regal, and Karen. So what does it come? So it comes to include the case of Shaiman. So Kishihizik, a shemichinam, uh, somebody is watching for free, somebody who borrowed, somebody who is a paid watchman, and somebody that's renting. So let's get the case over here. Marshall isn't here yet, so we'll need a fall guy. Uh, so uh, who's a good fall guy? Um, we'll, 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 use, uh, we'll use tonight a Baruch Ian. Baruch will be since he didn't come to Marv tonight. I don't know. Baruch, I don't know what's wrong with you. It's such a short trip from Florida. I'm so on to take Marshall. Yeah, he, right, right. It's not a... Uh, Krause is here. It's good to have you. You, you should be honored. The, those are big shoes to fill. Cement shoes. Uh, the, uh, so anyway, so Baruch borrows... Uh, he, he borrows an animal from Ruvain Pollock. Uh, it's a good team, Baruch and Ruvain. So, who's doing the what? Who's doing the damage over there? Over here, Hechi Dummy. Ilema de Aske Tura de Mashal the Tura de Shail. If it's talking about where Ruvain's, remember, Baruch borrowed Ruvain Shar, and 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 Baruch has a whole corral. Of oxen, right? He brought them from you know from the Ukraine, you know, <laughs> and uh, and 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 so anyway, uh, so if he asks the Gemara, um, that it was Ruvain Shar, um, excuse me. It was uh, Baruch's shar that damaged Ruvain's shar. 
In other words, the show the show that he borrowed uh, got damaged by one of his, one of Baruch's own sh- shvarim, and Baruch here it says the Allah is that he pays a chatzin nezek. So the Gemara says Lamele, <laughs> Ruvain Ru- 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 tells him, I don't understand. You only want to pay a chatzin nezek. You know, you're a shayel, you're chayiv and oinsim. Ilu azik ba'alma, if the show went outside in the street and was damaged by a car, boys l'shlumayat, you have to pay me the whole thing. Hash to ask you the two of Uh Excuse me. Uh, you know, I did this last night also. I mixed up Mixed up the translation. Excuse me, let me do that again. Hechi dummy. Elema de aske tura de mashil. If it's talking about that one of Baruch's shows damaged the tura de shale, damaged the axe that he borrowed from Ruvain, and he only wants to pay a chazi nezek. Right? Uh, why am I doing this? I can't. Sorry. So sorry, sorry. No, no. Sorry. 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 Again. I'm, I'm trying to rush it because I feel guilty that I'm doing it over again. But what can I do? Shh. We're we're we're, we're six lines from the bottom of Daf Yud Gimel Amud Beis. Again. Hechi Dami. Ilema de Aske Tura de Mashal. One of Baruch's uh, Shvarim. No. Elaim the Aske Tura the Mashal. Mashal is the one that gave the loan. That's Ruvain. If it's talking about that the axe of Ruvain that Baruch borrowed damaged one of uh, one one of uh, uh, one one of Baruch's shvarim, and we 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 say that Ruvain should be chayiv to pay. <laughs> Ruvain says, "Why should I be chayiv to pay?" ilu azik ba'alma. If you're supposed to watch my axe, if it went out and damaged on the street, you have to pay. Now that it damages one of your shmarim, you want me to pay? You want me to pay? Why should I pay? You were, you were the one that was supposed to protect it. Shh. Ella, the aske ture, the shoyal, it must be that the axe of Baruch's damaged the ture de mashal, damaged Ruvain's axe. You know, Marshall means the one who gave it. So one of Baruch's axes from Baruch's private stock damaged Ruvain's axe, and now he only wants to pay a chatzin nezek because it's a tam. Lamele Ruvain says, "What do you mean? Ilu itzik me alma. If my axe that you were supposed to watch wandered out of the corral and got hit by a car, boys l'shlumekule tur. You have to pay the whole thing." Because you're a shayel, shayel's chayiv even in eitzin. Hash to the aske tura didach. Now that your axe damaged my axe, pal ganisko dem shlamusvei. You want to pay only half? Why should you only pay half? You're chayiv in eitzin. You were the one that was promised to guard the axe. Says the Gemara la'olam the aske tura de mashel the tura de shayel. It's talking about where. Uh, where Ruvain's axe damaged uh, one of Baruch's oxen. And now Baruch wants him to pay. Even though he's, he, he borrowed the axe. But Baruch HaBemai Askinon Shekibal Olav Shmiras Gufay. The only thing that Baruch, Baruch, limited liability. He's a careful businessman, Baruch. And he, he only accepted to watch that Ruvain's axe shouldn't get damaged. <coughs> but he didn't accept anything but like Kibble of Shmiris Nezaka. He didn't accept that it shouldn't do any damaging. 
And therefore, when Ruvain's axe damaged, uh, uh, when Ruvain's axe damaged Boaz's axe, he has to pay. So the Gemara says, Iachi, if that's so, that he didn't, it, it, he didn't accept any liability if it does damage. Amos Sefer, look what it says in the Sefer of the mission. Nifat Zabalayla, if it broke out in the night, or you should pursue a list him, or the wall of the stable was knocked down by bandits, the Yatsis of Ezekiel, and it went out and damaged Potter, Baruch is Potter, implying, but if it went out and damaged in the day, Baruch would be high. But we said he only accepted to protect it from damage. He didn't accept to protect it from damaging. The hobby I'm high, but but Holy Kibbala of Shmir's Nazaka. He didn't accept that if it damages, he'll be responsible. So even during the day, he shouldn't be high. Says the Gemara Achi Kama. In Kibbala love Shmiris Nazakov. If Baruch did accept that if it goes out and damages, he's responsible, that he's Chayiv, then Nifritz of Belayla, if it breaks out in the night, so that's an Oynus, Oysha Pitsua Listim, or bandits came, knocked down the door to get into Baruch's safe, the Yatsis of Ezek, and it went out and did damage, Potter, because that's considered an unavoidable accident. Says the Gemara Inni, is this so? In other words, can we learn? Now, this is going back on that which we said that uh, one is exempt for Shane Varegel in a case where it's the Rishus of the Nizik and the Mazik. Says Gemara Inni, Vatani Rav Yosef Chatzar Ashutvin Vapundik. If it's a courtyard owned by partners, or an inn where everybody had the right to be, chayiv bahem al hashen varegel. You are chayiv for damages when the animal eats because it's hungry, or when the animal damages while walking in its normal course of walking. So to yufta the Rabbi Lazar, that would be a refutation of a Lazar who says that it's a chotzer of the nizik and the mazik. Uh, your potter for the damage of Shane Varegel. Amalach Rabalaza, so Rabalaza counters. The Tisbra, Masnisa Miloy Pliget. Don't we have a opposition from a Brysa? Vatanya, we learned in a Brysa, Arba Klolis, are your Reb Shimon and Alazar, Aimer Benizakin. Reb Shimon and said four principles by damage. If it's the rishus of the victim and not of the damager, in other words, here the, the damage is being done to A.B. on his premises. Right? Mel, Mel Shar, damages A.B.'s Shar on A.B.'s premises. Chayev Bakol then we're going to see that this means if it's in the Rishus Nizik, even a Tam is Mechaev and Ezek Shal. Because he had no right to be in Abi's property. The Mazik Veloyla Nizik. On the other hand, if Abi's axe wanders onto Mel's premises and it gets damaged, Potomiko, because Mel could say, what the heck are you doing in my premises? Lazel is that. If it's jointly owned, Kigain Chatzir Ashutfin, a courtyard of partners, Vabika, or a valley where everybody is allowed to be, Potter Baal Hashem Baal Regal, you're exempt for Shane and Regal. So here it's clear that in a Chatzir Ashutfin, the Chatzir of the Nizik and the Mazik, there's a tour for both Shane and Regal. Shh. Ala Nagicha, for Goring, these are things that are mishuna, unusual, goring, negifa, budding, neshicha, biting, revitza, trampling upon, lying upon and trampling, balabita, and for kicking in a joint area, tam mishalem chatzinezek, a first or second time it pays a chatzinezek, muad mishalem nezek shalom. Loy lezev, loy lezev, if it's neither of theirs, uh, <coughs> 
It's a courtyard that's neither of theirs. Now the Gemara is going to try to identify. Then whose is it? Chayvay bayal ha-shein v'al ha-regel. There, there's a chiv of shein and regel. Al negich v'al nashich v'al negif v'al revitz v'al beita, which is unusual activity. Tam mishalom chatsi nezek and muad mishalom nezek shalom. Now we're going to go back and we're going to discuss all of these cases. But the bottom line here, it says that a chotzer ha-shutfin for shein and regel, when the animal eats for its pleasure, or it steps in its normal course of walking, in a chotzer ha-shutfin, you're potter. Ketani mi'ez chotzer ha-shutfin v'abika potter ba'al ha-shein v'aregel. So now, above, we said that a chotzer ha-shutfin v'apundik, yuchaya for shein v'aregel. So it's kasha adodi. It's a contradiction between the two teachings. Says the Gemara, you know how we're going to resolve it. Ki tanya hi bechotzem yuchedes lezeh ulezeh, where it's jointly owned, bein leperis, bein leshvar. They have right to keep fruit there, and they have right to keep oxen there. If they have the right to keep their oxen there, then it's going to be potter. Hahid uh, Rav Yosef, this teaching of Rav Yosef, uh, where it says that uh, that for a chotzer ashutfin, you're chayev for shein v'regel. That's bechotzer miyuchedes leperis, where they both have the right right to keep their fruit there, but for any miyuchedes l'shvar, but they don't have a right to keep their axe in there. If they don't have a right to keep their axe in there, then that's considered beer b'stei acher, where the animal comes into another field. The gabi shein, havi lechotzer ha-nizik. Then by shein, it's the property of the nizik, and therefore you're chayiv. And it makes sense, because in the case where it compares it, in the case where it says you're chayiv, it compares it to a pundik, an inn. Obviously in an inn, you're not allowed to bring in Oxen. You don't bring an oxen into an inn. Take an ami, diktani hachadum you de pundik. So there it's only miyuchad for peris, so therefore you're going to be chayyav for shein and regal. Diktani hasim in the, the brice of the arba klolis, the four principles, where it says that you're, uh, uh, you're part of shein and that's talking about Dumya de Bika, similar to a valley, where you have the right to bring in Shvarim. If you have right to bring in Shvarim, so then you're going to be part of a Shein Varegel. Shmami no. Says the Gemara, wait a second. The Pasik says, Ubiyar Bistei Acher, that it has to go into another's field, not yours. But ask the Gemara if both of you have a right. To bring the Paris, how can you consider it another's, another's field? Maskar Abzera came into Miyuchedes the Paris, since they both could bring the fruit there. Haba Inu Nubir Besteacher, you're Chaya for Shane Varegel if your animal goes and consumes in another's field. But if you're allowed to bring your fruit there, then it's not another's field, it's also your field, so Malaka. So Amali Abai Abai says, since your shore is not allowed to go in there, and it went in there, it's considered like going into somebody else's field. Cave in the Einim, you had a Sushvarim, stay Acher Karina Bay. That's considered like going into somebody else's field. Amalei Rav Acham Adifti Ravina. So now that we've arrived, Lema Midmasnisa like Pligi, that actually these two prices are not arguing. Just one is talking about where you weren't allowed to bring Shvarim in. And one is talking about where you are allowed to bring shvarim in. So let's say I'm a roi nami loy pligi. Rabbi Lazar is not arguing with the chachamim either. But one is talking about where you're only allowed to bring fruit, and one is talking about where you're even allowed to bring in the accent. I'm a lay in. Yes. The intim tzaloim a pligi, and if you say they do argue, oh, it's talking about with a reshus that's miyuchad the peris. And it's not miyuchid for shvarim. And the only question is, does that constitute a steyacher? Since you're allowed to bring in your fruit, 
maybe it's not a steyacha. And then that's what, but then it would be because of Reb Zeira. They're arguing that one holds like the cash of Reb Zeira, that it's not beer besteyacha because you're allowed to bring your fruit there, and therefore you're going to be potter. Or piruka dabaya pligi. And the other one holds like Abaya's answer that since you're not allowed to bring your shah there, it is considered a steyach. Now, we're going to now rehash and analyze, as we welcome in Berish, better late than ever, Berish, as Berish is probably just pulled in for Muncie. Um, Berish, we're holding we're holding by Gufa, which is right after the two dots, uh, 13 lines from the bottom. 13 lines. Thank you, that's exactly right. I just pulled in. 13 lines from the bottom. Uh, Berish will supply us with a note from the uh, tolls and everything that uh, he got stuck in traffic. Uh, I, I got detoured off the Garden State, unfortunately. Uh, that's that's what happened. That's what happened. I knew it. If I had a penny for every one that got detoured <laughs> off the Garden State Parkway, I'd be a rich man. Uh, Sandy Grunfeld is joining us. Harrison Kletzel is here. Uh, good to have you all. Jay Siegel is joining us, which is very nice. Uh, and uh, Pesach Siegelman is here. Uh, Pesach, I like it a lot better when you're in shul. I just want to tell you that. A lot better. Nachman Chapler is chugging on his way here, ready to come and join us for Shabbos here in Fairways. We're always much richer, uh, Nachman, when you're with us. Uh, and uh, by the way, just for people, you know, I always tell people, you know, you, you know people like to give their wives surprises. And there might be some merit to a surprise, although it's a kinder shazah. But when you give a surprise, you're sacrificing anticipation. A very big part of the pleasure of things is anticipation. So instead of surprising your wife with a weekend away, tell it to her so she can anticipate it for the next six weeks until you go. And there's a very anticipation is a very big part of the pleasure of everything. So I know that some people are going to get very excited so I want you to anticipate that after the shir we'll be doing a chok. So you can anticipate that. You see look at Aaron. He's so happy. He's jumping up and down from his chair. Uh, I know, I know my, my, I know my uh, customers. Uh, but anyway uh, uh, chok chok is you know, you think about, you're doing a chak, you're learning that which was established by the Arizal and the Chida. You know, when I, when I, when I was internally, I had an internal war with myself, whether I should accept the, the responsibility they want me to finish, to do two a week, 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 basically, for the next year and a half. It's a very big responsibility. So my wife wanted me very much to do it because her Zayda, the St. George Rebbe, was very, very big in Tuchak. My also, my Zayda, the Imriyash, was also very big. But I, I said to myself, after 120, I'm going to be greeted by the Chida. He's going to thank me that I, I promoted his Chak, the, the, the Arizal and the Chida. It's so exciting to learn, to learn a Chak. It's really... It really is. I mean, yeah, I could see, I, I could see um, Avi's face. He's mamish. He's he's enthralled. But anyway, uh, let's do the daf first. Gufa. Arba Four principles were said by Reb Shem ben Elazar in damages. Remember the the nizik. Poor guy, Mel. He's a, he's a nizik. He's get, his, his animal is getting damaged. So, kosher shusla nizik the mazik. When Abi's axe comes barreling in into uh, Mel's property, chayiv bekol. 
He's chayev for everything. Now, ala kol loy el chayev bakol. He's chayev with everything. That means that A.B. has to pay even if it's a tam and nezik shalom. Bekule nezik. Not just the chatsi nezik. Even though A.B.'s ax is only a tam, he has to pay the whole damages. Mani, reptarfani. That's reptarfani. The omash mishuna karen, unusual karen, because goring is unusual. Bechatsi nezik, when it barrels into the property of the victim, nezik shalom mishal. Ema seifa. And the Mar says, but then look at the Sefer. It says, loy lezeh loy lezeh. If it's not this one, if it's not this one, kagayin t'chotzer she'en ishel shneim, a kotya that's not either of theirs, or they're not the two of them, chayiv ba'al ha'shein ba'al ha'regel. Yechayiv for she'en and regel. Now, wait a second. What does it mean that it's not abies and not mel's? My loyal is ever loyal is a ilay my loyal is ever loyal is a klal ella da acher. It's Avi's property. <laughs> if 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 Abi Shard did damage to Mel's property by Avi, that's 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 not what the pasuk says. Vaba ina beer bestay acher. It has to go in the other's field. It has to go into the field of the Nizik, into Mel's property. Veleka, you don't have that. Elipshita loylazeh veloylazeh. It's not owned by both A.B. and Mel. Eladachat. It's only Mel's property. In other words, the Rishus HaNizik. Viketoni Seifa, Tam Mishalem Chatsi Nizik. A tam pays a chatzin nezik, a mood mishal nezik shalom. So that's not like Reb Tarfin, because Reb Tarfin says in the Rishis of Nezik, Karen pays a, a tam pays a nezik shalom. So Asan Rabbanan, the Imre Mishuna Karen bechatzer a nezik, that unusual Karen in the property of the one that's being damaged by Mel, chatzin nezik good mishal. So that's a stira. Reisha Rebbe Tarfin v'seifed Rabbanan. It would seem to be the Reisha is going according to Reb Tarfin. That in the property of the Nizik, uh, Tom pays an Ezek Shalom, and the safe is going according to Rabbanon, and in the property of the Nizik, Tom pays a Chatsi Nezik. He says, Gmar in? Yeah. You have to say it's a split decision. The Amalei Shmuel Rabbi Yehuda, Shmuel said to Rabbi Yehuda, Shin in a Shvaik Mas Nisan, stop trying to forem for the Mishnah, the Torah Basrai, and follow my interpretation. Raise your Rebbe Tarfin. The first part is going according to Rebbe Tarfin. The Sefer Rabbana. And the Sefer is going according to Rabbana. Ravina has a different way to unravel the problem. Ravina Mishmei the Rav Amakula Rebbe Tarfin. It's all going according to Rebbe Tarfin. So the ratio that says that if Abi's axe barrels into Mel's property, he pays, even a Tam pays an Ezek Shalom. Because Munashana Karen, Bechatzer Anizek pays an Ezek Shalom. Or my loy lezev loy lezeh, ah, loy lezev loy lezeh leperis. It's not both of theirs for uh, the right to keep stuff. Ela dechad. Only Mel has the right to keep Paris there. But lezev lezeh leshvar. But it's both theirs for the right to keep their ox in there. So Dilagabe Shane, when it comes to Shane, if the if Abi's ox eats the Paris of uh, of Mel, so it's Rishus Hanizik, pays an Ezek Shalom. Avalei Chatzer Hanizik. Legabe Karen, since they both have the right to keep the ox in there, if Abi's axe gores Mel's axe, so then Havilei Rishus Rabin, it has a din of Rishus Rabin since uh, they're they're both allowed to keep their axe in there, and therefore a time pays a chatzinez. Says the Gemara, Ihochi. If that's the case, we already talked about that. Arba, it's not four principles. Shleish Havi, it's only three principles because we're not saying a new case. Um, Rav Nachman Yitzchok, you're right. You're right. It's shloisha principles, shloisha klarlois, 
for Arba Mekaymas, setting it up in four different scenarios, but it's only three principles. Now, if you remember, we learned that the previous Mishnayis are Tona Yerushalmi. They're done by Yerushalmi. And we said Yerushalmi, its style is cryptic. Its style is clipped and short. And the next Mishnah continues that s- style by saying clipped statements. Truncated statements. Well, not truncated. Uh, but, it, but it's abbreviated statements. Shum Kesef. Evaluation is done by money. Shava Kesef. You pay with the value of money. Bifnei Bezdin. In front of a Bezdin. I'll pay Edim Bnei Chayrim. Witnesses that are free, b'nei bris, that are Jewish. Vanoshim b'chlal anezek, women are included in damage. Vanizek v'amazek b'tashlum, and sometimes the victim and the damager shares in the damage. So these are all vague statements, which the Gemara is now going to explain one by one. Did you learn this mission inside? <coughs> I, I learned it. I learned this mission today. So you see what a difference it makes. Yeah. Yeah. And it goes into the difference. Right now, my shum kesef. What does it mean that we make evaluation by money? Oh, it means that in the event that riches axe damages Avram's cloak. We don't say if Rich's axe damages Avram's cloak, we don't say Avram takes Rich's axe. If uh, Avram's cloak uh, causes Rich's axe to be damaged, we don't say that Rich takes the talus. It, it, it doesn't work that way. You've got to evaluate the value. And that's what the Gemara says. My shum kesef. Am Rabbi Yehuda, shum zelo yehei elo bekesef. The evaluation is done by its respective values. Tanin al-Hadda Tan Rabban. This is teaching us in our Mishnah by what the Rabbanan said. Para shezika talus v'talus shezika para. A cow that damages a talus, and a talus that causes the cow to be damaged, ain't takes a para betalus that the Avram takes the cow for the talus, and uh, Rich takes the talus for the cow, the talus bapara. Elisham and Isabadamim. We have to find out what the damage was done. You know, we might say, look, you know, we throw the book at Rich. Your ox did damage, Avram is going to take your ox. We don't say that. Shavakesa. What does it mean, Shavakesa? Now, the Tan Rabbanan, Shavakesa, Malami, Sheein, Bezdin, Niskokin, El Nechosim, Sheishel, Machrais. When Bezdin comes to collect, they only collect from real estate. Real estate is called Nechosim, Sheishel, Machrais because it's always there. It can't get lost, it can't get stolen. The property is always there. That's why it's called property that's secure. But if the victim went and grabbed some movables, he ran into the damager's house and grabbed his candelabra, then Bezdin could collect even from the candelabra. So the Gemara says, oh, this doesn't make sense. That means they could only collect from real estate. First of all, what does that mean, Shavu Kesef? What does Shavu Kesef have to do with real, real estate? My mashma, how does Shavu Kesef, the value of money, how does that mean real estate? Amar Rabba Bar Ula Dovra Shavu Kol Kesef. Ah, it means real estate because real estate is worth any money that you ask for it. Because there's no I know by real estate. The din is if I charge you for metal to them more than a six, 
the sale is reversed. But ain't I know but karkois. So you can get for karka whatever you ask for it. So the Gemara assumes that when it says real estate is shabba kesef, it means that which is worth any kesef. There's a value of any kesef. Remind you, what's something that's worth any money? Davish ain't lo yana. So the Gemara says, well, but avadim ishtaris nami ain't lo yana. So what do you mean only real estate? By servants and notes, there's also no yana. That which is acquired with money. Real estate is acquired with money. So the Gemara says, well, Avodim Ishtar is nami nikna bekesem. Ela Amar of Ashi, Shava Kesef, that which is uh, here, here uh, Shava Kesef, that which is worth money, but below Kesef, but not actual money. But all the other things, uh, notes and servants, that's considered money because they, they can be moved from one place to another place. So, Vahani Kulu Kesef Nino, Avodim Shtaris, that's all money because they're transferable, they can be moved around. That which is shava kesef, that's equal to kesef, but it's not money, that's only real estate. So the Gemara says, but we know that's not true. We said for damages you could collect even from bran. That Bezdin could only claim money from real estate for Tanya Yoshiv. It says cash of Yashiv Babalov, the Rabbi Shavu Kesef that you could collect even from balls of cotton. Vafilu uh, Subin says, you know, you're right. But here we're talking about where Eddie is not collecting from the one who damaged him, Chatzkel. Chatzkel died. He's collecting from the orphans. He's collecting from the orphans. So the Gemara says if it's the orphans, it says that if Eddie takes the candelabra, he gets it. But that's not true. If Eddie, the victim, grabs the candelabra, Bezdin will collect from the candelabra. But you got to give it back to the orphans. To the to the to the to the nizik. Says you might know what happened is Eddie grabbed the candelabra while Chatzka was still alive. Says the Gemara Kedama Rav Am Rav Nachman Shetafes Mechayim, like Rav says in the name Rav Nachman elsewhere. He grabbed it while he was alive. So now that's the meaning over here. You can only collect from real estate. Why? Shavakasev is real estate. The only thing that's like money but is not money. Real estate. Why? Because it's talking about orphans. If, however, he took the candelabra while Chatzka was still alive, then Bezna will collect. The next thing in the mission it says is that it has to be Bethne Bezna. What does that mean? Oh. That means that Prat Lemoicher Nechosov Ba'achakachoylech Lebezim. That excludes where Chatzkel sold his property and then went to Bezim. Says Gemara. What? Take an example if uh, uh, Gedalia uh, took a loan from me. And then he sold his property to Avram. I can't collect from, a, from, from Avram. That's not true. Says the Gemara, problem It excludes where Gedalia sold his property and then went to Bezden. Shmami no lovo If I gave him a loan and he sold lovo mocha nechasev, 
V'achkach bol lebezdin, and then he comes to bezdin. Ain't bezdin goven lo man? Of course I can collect from Avram. If 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 Gedalia doesn't have the money, I have a prior lien. Of course I can collect from Avram. El prat lebezdin ed yaitis. Well, there's something else. Simple. Bifnei bezdin means that a collection for knosos, for a penalty, like for example kefil or dal of the hay could only be in front of a bezdin of smuchin and not a bezdin of hediyotis. I'll pay them. It's only if it's by the testimony of witnesses. This is again talking about kefil or dal of the hay or for a case of the 30 shkolim if the axe killed an avid. So it has to be that the information was done by the witnesses. That excludes that in the event that Rich admitted that he stole, he doesn't pay the kefal. Even if afterwards witnesses come, or where Rich admitted that he stole a sheep and then sold it or slaughtered it, he doesn't pay the dalit. He doesn't pay four times. Right? Why? Because he's made of a knas. Pratla made of a knas. So the Gemara says, okay, that would work that I'll pay the means that. That if Rish admits, and then afterwards witnesses come, they say he is Chayiv. So then what does Alpi Adim come to teach us? Uh, so Gemara says, no, Alpi Adim is not, it's just a lead. It's leading into that it has to be Adim that are Yidin and Adim that are free men. As Gemara says, B'nai Chayrim or B'nai Bris. It, it, it leads in, say for it's Of course, it, we know that you need witnesses. But it's telling us which witnesses. B'nai Chayrim, they have to be free. Or B'nai Bris, they have to be Jewish. B'nai Chayrim, Lemute Avodim, that comes to exclude if it's an Evid Kanani, an Evid Kanani can't be a witness because an Evid Kanani is viewed like women. And Bnei Briz comes Now, we need both. The Ashmin on Evid is no good. An Evid has no pedigree, has no lineage. They don't, they don't have any lineage. Avon Nachri, Nachri goes according to the father. That's why the minig is that if you're, you know, taking a name from a guy to be mispal, you don't ask for the mother, you ask for the father. The, 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 when you want to daven for a guy, say Tony asks you to pray for him. Right? So you don't ask him for his mother's name, you ask him for his father's name. So Tony, the son of Ike, Avol Nachri, the Yeshla Yichas, and by the way, you'll say, but are you allowed to daven for a guy? So I heard once from a Gadol that you could daven with a guy with a proviso that he should be okay if he never is going to hurt a Jew. It's going to hurt a Jew, it shouldn't be okay. So the Gemara says, So Avon Nachri, Diyeshla Yichas, he has a pedigree, Amalai, maybe he's not excluded from testimony. Via Ashmin and Nachri, that's Mishim Dali Shaykh Bamitzvah. He doesn't have any extra mitzvahs. Aval Evid, but an Evid Kanani that has mitzvahs like a woman, the Shaykh Bamitzvah, Amalai, maybe he's not excluded from testimony. Sricha, that they both excluded from testimony. So first of all, we want to thank you for joining us. We want to remind you that Shir Matzi Shabbos is 15 minutes earlier. I figured that the island likes the idea of starting earlier. So Shir Matzi Shabbos is at 7.45, at a quarter to eight. Uh, Shelly, you'll put it on the... Shelly here? 
Shelly, I don't think Shelly's here. We'll get Shelly to put us, or Irving could put it on the chat. Uh, that Shear is uh, Matzah Shabbos at a quarter to eight. Uh, I, I did the... I did the Mishnah Yomis already uh, because, because now we're going to do a Chok uh, 